Before we get to your scheduled video, please remember that likes and comments tell YouTube to promote our work to other people, and subscribing to the channel tells you when something new drops. You can also head to the link tree in the description to peruse my books, join us on Discord, or support us on Patreon. You can get episodes of Journey of Wrestling and Violent Profiles early, as well as a load of other treats. Even just a dollar a month earns you a name drop for being cool. Thanks for listening, and enjoy the show. Wrestling. Yeah! Um... Do you know who's cool? Uh, Rob. Yeah. A guy from Ohio. Yep. Passion Killer 7-Eleven. Yes. Distrucity KTO. Yes. Harmony. Yes. And I believe there was a new one. Uh, yeah, uh, on the tip of your tongue. Well, there you go. What an excellently chosen name. Yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. Because it sounds like a meme. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we like that. Thank you. I will be using that as a joke later in a future episode. I will be like, ah, oh, it's... It, but you, you you see how the joke goes. I'm not going to do the whole thing, because I'll do it later. Anyway, let's book a wrestling show. But first... You get we we say your name if you give me a dollar. It makes you cool legally, yeah. bindingly mm-hmm. in the state of um, ma- matter. <laughs> matter? Oh yeah. fuck! Yeah, in the state of matter. <laughs> <laughs> I can't top that. That's that's the hat. Move All right. on. Yeah, moving on. Um. Okay, we talked about. No, you had specific plans for punk. Danielson. Contract signing this week. Yes. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, hoping they already didn't do that. If they did, oh well, we'll figure something else out. There we go. Okay. Contract signing between them. Uh, Brian Daniels gets to pick the stip for their match. The stip will be whatever we want it to be at the time. But, okay. But well, actually, what should it be? What should the stip be? Eat a vegetable. Uh, I think Last Man Standing would fit for the end of the feud if we have it available. I guess we'll have to find out when we get there. I mean, it doesn't, like, you know, they tell everybody then what it is, but... We don't got to We now. don't know, so yeah. yeah, it's not that important. Um, do we want to do the three-on-three match here or the go-home show? Um... I think the heels are winning every match at the pay-per-view, right? I have no idea. Daphne's winning the title. Uh, if we're not taking the title off Brody Lee and we're having Jimmy Jacobs win at the pay-per-view, then the heels are winning every t- every match at the title uh, every match at the pay-per-view. So, uh, I think yeah, uh, go home show for the six-man tag so the faces can win. Sounds good to me. So we need to progress all of these feuds this week then in yep. other ways. Um, <sighs> Nigel versus Brody. God, that's over. Uh, good lord, that's our third most over feud. It started a month ago, so yeah. who knows what it was? Maybe it started a hundred twenty-two. Uh, <laughs> uh, Okada versus Jacobs. That's doing really well. Um, people like that, and then Daphne versus Colt. Not doing as good, which is weird because it started pretty strong. Well, it's only just starting, and give it some time to get over. Maybe give it a good boost this month. Yeah. This this week with whatever we can do to give it the most red lightning bolts. I guess she can demand a title shot. Um, actually, what has an action boost? Um. No, not those fucking things. Ho down, hose down. Oh, that's a thing. That's a vicious beat. No, no, surprise attack. But that does crap for the. Okay, well, keep scrolling. Uh, promo ambush. Ooh, and it's got a lot of uh, juice. That's why I skipped the other ones. Just get the ones that are actually. Uh, no, that's not. It looks like promo ambush or after match attack. But then I'd have to set up a match. Uh, rip off mask. But he doesn't have a mask. So <laughs> Those are she all would just one action. We don't rip even... off his face. Yeah. So. Rip off his energy mask. Reveal a second Colt Cabana underneath. Um, Fight, obviously. Yeah, but that's not. That, that, that's got more hype and they're already main event. Or more popularity boost. Um, promo ambush seems like the thing to do. There you go. Let's get a producer on there because the, the fans like it. It'll it'll work good, hopefully. Okay, 
Um, Man, I am. I, yeah, you just you're 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 in neutral this week, huh, bud? I'm just not like, and I'm I'm saying this for the benefit of the people listening and to fill the dead air so that there are people listening. Uh, I don't I I don't know what to do with the incredibly talented physical fighter and incredibly talented physical fighter need to put on a segment this week. Well, they could just wrestle. It's not like it's a hard and fast rule. Well, but it gets their fatigue up, but. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's just do that. There we go. They'll wrestle again. Maybe it'll go the other way. Sure, why uh, not? What the hell was the other feud? Uh, Brody Lee, if you beat me, you can get a shot at the pure title. I don't think you deserve it. There you go. Done. Um... I, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just not how I book. Like, there's a lot of dumb unwritten rules that are like a self-imposed challenge that I don't mean to be doing. You know what I mean? Like, because I'm trying to put on a good show for people that don't exist and don't see the show, you know? I don't mean I don't mean you guys out there, viewer. I mean... Like the, the audience the, here. These guys. These, these guys right here. <laughs> so I, I'm trying to think of stuff that's like entertaining and good and not just... All right, this is the most optimal combination of things, and there I go. Yes, I got all the points. Congratulations, I'm the point master. And your your booking brain does not you want to see these guys wrestle more. Well, is that is that what's had you stuck in neutral this whole pay per view cycle? Is 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 not being able to have the man's wrestle more? No, I, not, that's not interesting either. <laughs> you put a feud between two guys and they wrestle four times before they go to the pay per view and wrestle. That's WWE, baby. It's it's just a bunch of boring stickman matches. That's just which is if you're in the indie circuit like we are, and you don't have a national TV deal like we probably technically don't, then that's what you are in fact doing. Brian Danielson is going to wrestle CM Punk, uh, while we only have four super cards a year, so you know, for three months, and that's all that happens. But like that makes my brain hurt. You, but you need. A, I guess you need a healthy mix. No, I just don't know what to do. <laughs> you, are, you are trying to give me too much credit here, my friend. You are, and I appreciate that. That's very kind of you. But like, I am. I don't give a shit about this any more than I do if they were promoing against each other. Uh, I'm also there is that part where I am trying to put on a show for you guys, you guys out there in the audience, Ultimo Dragon, and and I don't just silently click the guys that are in feuds and hit the button then hit play you know we like to create a uh what do they call that a live that's like people want entertainment <laughs> uh i like to create entertainment here for you 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 lovely people okay um what is going on in the tag feud what are they doing this week no idea well that makes two of us um Uh, okay, they've got a tag team match. They have a title defense against, uh, Radio Silent Knots Heal. Fucking hell. Um, I guess the Ring Crew Express, because they beat the Carnage Crew. Why not? They defend their titles. And then afterward, Los Temerarios are like, you should give us the title shot. I know I already have demand whatever... Did we? Nope. No, we didn't do that one. So yeah, we can do that here. Um, get a producer on that. The other one. It's so weird how much changes between like what I would actually want to book if I had these people and the way I would do it versus how one ends up booking in a booking simulator. You know what I mean? Well, yes, because it's a video game. Right. But, like, also, I don't know. I, I guess I would be booking everything a month ago, and then we would go to each week 
and there would be complications that arise that we have to work around. Not, uh, I, I have to come remember what nine different coherent narratives were going on week to week. Um, but anyway, uh, okay. It, that's not all the feuds. We still need Joe versus Steen. Um, what is happening there? Joe wants to kill Steen. Steen doesn't want to be killed. That's basically the thrust. Thinks he's hard enough to beat Joe. Has been ragging on Joe for ducking him for months because Joe was injured. Joe came back and beat the brakes off him a couple times. This, if it's going to be a segment, should be Steen, like, either getting getting his own back in terms of, uh, you know, attacking Joe, uh, or it should be just a stand-up promo between the two men hashing out their business. Um, I, I like the idea of just them beating the crap out of each other. There you go. Okay, three segments left. Um... Gee, Gordon Liddy. Uh, Generico, how are you? You're a little high. Zack Sabre Jr., however, is lower. Let's continue to job out Kota Ibushi. He deserves nothing good. He is he is the bitch of the show now. I have said it, and so it shall be. Um, oh, you know what we can do? We can fix the thing I fucked up. She's not going to be at the pay-per-view anyway, so it's fine. Wait, now she's one... Oh, no, I'm... It... Never mind. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, Koda should probably get a win over somebody. Making someone nice and high up the card. Um, Look at him. He's 4 threes over his balls. Yeah. Uh, Xavier's a little higher up the card. What about... I think, yeah. Uh, he's, he's on the bubble. But that's... that's maybe fine. a, maybe a Briscoe? I'd rather job at Doug Williams. Okay. Um, he's part of a tag team. We'll probably break up at some point. It, it's not... Uh, Zack Sabre can be over for no reason Slick Wagner Brown. Yeah. Uh, oh, we're... and we're, we're good. We're, we're booked. We're full up. So, um, this is the big exciting thing early in the show. Uh, fight closer to the end. Mm, yeah, that's probably about right. Um, demand title shot. We're Has a little... to go after the tag match for it to make sense. Where's... To the main event right now. Oh, you know, it was gold, so I put it there. So let's thank you for pointing that out, because my brain is full of worms. <laughs> You've got the worm brain this week, a whole lot. It, yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna mince words. Um, there. And this is terrible, but there's nothing I can do about it, so let's just roll. Uh, right, right, right. Okay, Zack Sabre Jr., putting him over. That is the... I have not seen a match result look like that in a long time. Nothing happened. Yeah. Um, it was a four-star match. It was excellent. Moving on. <laughs> Ring of Honor. Uh... <laughs> So, is, is Colt ambushing her? Or is she ambushing him? How did we set that up? Uh, you you booked this in a, in a flurry of activity. All right. I'm going to say Daphne ambushes Colt. Colt comes in. He's like, it's okay, guys. I'm the champ. I, I, I have it on good authority that Daphne will not be here tonight. And then surprise. Surprise, shit. bitch! I love cake! <laughs> That's good shit. Oh, wow, and I made the right choice. Feud's hot. Promo ambush got a bunch of stuff. That was over a five-star segment. A-plus work, yeah! Yeah, to go go me. Uh, Sweet and Sour and Stevie defend their titles. The crowd were interested. Yeah, it was a hot match. Got the Ring Crew Express some overness for losing. The crowd... We're interested. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck have I done? What have we done? You're not getting out of this. <laughs> yes! Power! I don't... 
I don't think we should have this power. <laughs> Kota Ibushi beats Doug Williams. Yeah, go Kota. It's your birthday. What if it is? Good I, for I him. I don't know. Happy birthday. Rebecca Kota. Knox wins. That's the idea. Yes. Got her win back. Um, This is going to be like a nine-star segment. Yep. Oh my god! Holy shit! Good lord. Um, okay. This is a non-title match. Nigel's supposed to win here. Yeah, Nigel wins here to get his title match. Yeah. I just, you know, casual four and a half stars. Uh, contract signing. Who's going through the table here? It doesn't really matter. It really doesn't yeah. matter. Simulate. It's fine. Brian Danielson puts the table through CM Punk. Yeah. <laughs> CM Punk split in half. Uh, little bits of Pepsi everywhere. Um... Crystal Pepsi. Yeah. So this is going to be probably Okada winning again because Jacobs is going to win next week. Jacobs is going to... Uh, Okada is going to win as part of the six-man tag. Jacobs is going to get his win back at the pay-per-view. I thought you wanted to put over the bad guy team. Yeah. Jason Jimmy Jacobs the heel? Yeah. So Okada is not going to win next week. Oh, maybe it was reversed in... Um, so... My idea was the heels are all going to win at the pay-per-view, probably. Right? I don't know. That would have Daphne securing the title immediately. We could also play it out for a month. and So, yeah, that we could reverse that. So, yeah, Okada wins this week. Jimmy wins next week. Yeah, because why would the Revolution lose? Duh. Yeah, you're right. That was that was my thinking. You're you're very much a proponent of the established tag. Yeah, no, no, I just it didn't occur to me. Okay, uh, miscommunications happen. Uh, so Okada wins this week. Uh, wow, well, in, yeah, incredibly right call, excellent work, great job, everybody. Feud's hot. Uh, we're gonna lose ten thousand fans. Sixty-eight, fucking almost a five-star show. Game day is saved to the cloud. Instant results. We're Four point three k fans up. Minutes. I, this is the first time we're seeing actual real growth, though, I will admit. As much as we're being sassy, like, stuff is happening. We're still 300,000 under. We are. Oh, Daniel Sin's charisma went up. That's awesome. So it's just a native three now, so he's a 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> okay, let's get the three-on-three three done here. Uh, yeah, the revolution. Jimmy Jacobs and the green people. You're learning! I'm learning! I will forget next time. You will. Versus... Okada. Um, uh, N- Colt. Nigel. And, yeah, Nigel. Um, yeah, we don't we don't say Nigel McGinnis' name funny. Uh, that's, that's, that's an invitation to... I started and then tragedy. I stopped. Yeah. Uh, I like saying people's name funny, but me Nigel... Too. Nigel is, Nigel's Nigel. <laughs> you could say his last name funny. Miguel. I chose I choose he's okay. Miguel now. Alright. So uh there was something that Danielson and Punk are doing here that you suggested. Uh this one I was the loosest. I just wanted to be a final, like a go home promo. Right, like a stare down or a catchphrase showdown or something. Catchphrase showdown, know. stare down, something okay. that, that like it gets the people hyped. Right. And are are we ending this? It's five months long. We could maybe we take could, it another we month. We could squeeze out another month, but that's also Brian Danielson. That's that's a top tier face and heel who could be fighting other people. Yeah. So let's. Uh, yep. Catchphrase showdown. Perfect. Perfect. Sounds good. Okay. Um, Steen versus Joe. Uh, that's probably still a promo. Um, I have a suggestion. What is your suggestion? Um, Samoa Joe is talking about how he's going to, well, in, in, not too dissimilar from what happened recently IRL, uh, he is going to destroy everything that Steen ever loved. When he was in the hospital, he had to spend that entire time listening to him talk smack like that mattered. And um, so the first thing he does is he goes and he finds Owen Hart's grave. <laughs> <laughs> yes! It's time! It's finally time! 
Kevin... You realize Steen has to win at the pay-per-view, right? Yeah, that was our plan because we were mad about Joe holding us up. Uh, Kevin, Kevin, who notoriously named his son after Owen Hart. Yeah. And there's the reason he's Kevin Owens in the WWE will be livid. Of course, it's not the real Owen Hart's grave. Well, no. No, we don't have the money to worry also, about Also, I think Owen Hart had been dead for like three years yeah, at this point. that's fucked up. That's... Joe's got real life heat with the entire wrestling industry in this universe. Uh, Joe might be... Nobody watched Ring of Honor, it's clear. No one's gonna know. Uh, Owen might actually still be alive out there in this scenario. <laughs> Whatever. I gotta, I gotta Google it. I gotta it's, Google... Well, he's he's he, I think he's dead by now in real life, but like in this scenario, I'm not sure. He he might have. I don't remember when we started two years ago. Um, regardless, yeah, we, we'll, it doesn't matter. It's funnier if he's alive in this yeah, scenario. It, it is funnier. Uh, okay, sweet and sour and Stevie and Los Temerarios. Um, that's still going pretty good. Uh, they came out only and looks the title bad shot. by virtue of not immediately being absurdly over like the I other know, new right? feuds. Um. Let's get him some hype. Just a solid promo battle. Yeah, just... It doesn't just need to be fancy. Put in the work. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's our feuds. Cool. Main event hype. Okay. Yeah, good call. Good call. Uh-huh. Huh. Okay. We still have 36 matches left we can book. <laughs> um, let's get Dem Boys a match. Against fucking whom's the embassy? Uh, no, they're heel. Oh, no, they're faces now. We made Dem Boys faces. So, uh, yeah, well, we had them fight Radio Silence, but we had Radio Silence win. So now, so now the Briscoes lose. can win. Yeah. yeah. That's really good book. The tag team division is just going to be a big incestuous circle of. <sighs> Of just pointless wins and losses that mean nothing. Rebecca Whoa. Knox, you're tired. You're not doing anything. Um, What's up? Brody Lee's at 31% fatigue. Mm. Check the other guys in that, actually. Uh, I think Jimmy's fine. Yeah, six. Um, Colt's at nothing. Uh, Daphne. That six man tag is such a good idea, though. And one of these feuds is ending at the pay-per-view, isn't it? Uh, I think Brody's, actually. Yeah. So... so... Scroll down on Brody? Three months. If Brody's feud is ending at the pay-per-view, the other two aren't, right? Because they're new. We just started them, yeah. So we could just sub out Brody's uh, part of this feud with uh, whoever he's feuding with next month. Still do it. Give him this week off. Um. Just do. Or we could roll the dice. I don't want to get Brody Lee injured. We could just take Brody and Nigel out. And just do... Just run a promo? No, just run the same exact match, but a tag match. For Brody and Nigel? Yeah. That, that works fine. We got plenty of segments. Yeah. Or do a singles, uh, a solo promo for Nigel. I forget, does doing promos slow their recovery, or is it just fine? I don't know because of WWE. Oh, uh, oh, no, you, we already took care of that. What? We're not booking Rebecca. I just noticed her fatigue. Oh, yeah. No. You mentioned it earlier. Uh, okay, so Colts and Okada, Jimmy Jacobs, and Daphne. Book that. Yeah. That sucks, but whatever. Um, that sucks as in, that's unfortunate. Brody's not... been wrestling a lot this pay-per-view cycle. Oh, 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 oh. Not a singles match. Segment. Uh, he has been, and part of that is because of my haste last week, and that's frustrating for me personally. Um, 
Yeah, neither of them really need that. Uh, I guess just like to get some more hype on the feud before it caps off. It's got so much staleness left. It's under half its staleness. Yeah. Do you want to keep it going? We could. It's just under half its staleness is all. Yeah, I don't have any, like, you know, anybody I'm juicing to get. I mean, Brody needs to drop the title to somebody, but it doesn't need to be Nigel. Nigel's also in the main event. So, like, he can drop it to, uh... Oh, man, we don't have any lower card faces who aren't bad. Um, he can drop it to somebody after this feud. Like, you know, someone in the lower card where the pure title probably should be. Um... Promo ambush seems like the one to do. Sounds good. You know what? Right before the main event, he gets taken out. It was a planned match. Nigel McGuinness is just too tired of Brody messing with him. Yeah. Um, eh, we'll do it earlier in the show, but the same thing. Yeah, Nigel attacks Brody. Uh, is you know gets his own back and is summarily uh, ejected from the match. Also. Yes. Yes. Because we don't encourage that behavior okay el generico how you doing you can beat somebody um who's a face that can get beat um and... if we got the space and promos i would say let him do a promo actually he's been beating a bunch of people and promos also help get hype and usually a little faster i'm, I'm not against it uh eat promo there we go um Okay. Uh, then we've got... <clears throat> Space for two matches. And they should be matches. Uh, Zack Sabre Jr., who's doing great. Um, we've got Xavier, uh, who isn't. Slick Wagner Brown, who is uh, over and still here. Um, yeah, I let's let's eat Slick Wagner Brown's overness. Feed him, to some, feed, feed him to somebody. Feed him to Abyss. You got it. Um, okay. And who's mad? Matt Stryker. Who could he beat? Uh, have they done that a bunch? No, that's right. We were gonna, we did that at the start of this cycle, but we can do it again because they didn't feud. So, main event package. This is promo heavy, so that probably makes the most sense. Uh. Does the El Generico thing need to be a match just for balance's sake? No, it's fine. Um, Maybe put like two promos match, two promos match, two promos match. Yeah, uh, this can go here. There we go. Okay, time to play. <clears throat> Very effective. Alright, uh, I've already forgot, oh, Matt, because he's mad. Mad mm, striker. Yeah, thanks, Matt. Um, Nigel takes Brody Lee out? Yes. Jeez. Oh my god, good. I loved it. Live. Good, so good, so good. He's so, Nigel is so good at his job. Wow, okay, uh, I made a bad call. What the fuck, El Generico? He had a two. What the fuck? Guys. Well, the go home show is well. All right. <sighs> okay, Briscoe brothers are winning here. Ooh, that there was a two stinkers back to back. Samoa Joe desecrates a grave. Everybody loves it. That was great. Catchphrase showdown. Everybody loves yeah, it. Yeah, hundred percent effective. Uh, Revolution victorious. Cool. So fast. 57, nearly a five-star show, even with those other two things in there. Um, so fast. Still got 2K fans. All right. Okay, let's do this. Uh, all right. So, Kevin Steen versus Joe. We are blowing that off, right? Yes, that okay. is the plan. Punk versus Danielson. We, we are, are blowing, that, blowing off. that off. Okay. It's got more, more than half. Uh, Nigel McGinnis versus Brody Lee. Are we blowing that off? No, no, right? Well, all right. So here's the thing. If we don't blow it off, we don't want Brody Lee to drop the title to Nigel, right? Right. 
So that means Brody Lee has the title for another month cycle, and then another month cycle at least. That's at least two more months of Brody Lee as champ. M- like, minimum. Okay. Um, well, just, I mean, I guess this, this one, one more after this. So, um, would you rather be able to... Or no, I, I was right too, because the last, if we don't blow it off, we get another month of Nigel, and then the, we gotta do a month of whoever he's shooting next. Right. So would you rather be able to just do one more month of Brody Lee as champ, or do you want to commit for two? I don't care. We gotta make a call. <laughs> um. Uh, uh. <clears throat> you know what? Let's blow it off. Okay. I, I I leave it in your hands because between the two of us you seem the more invested in um how that shakes out. The the whole shebang. The only thing I was invested in is don't drop the title to somebody else who's also in the main event because that doesn't like that's that's not what the the thing is, you know. Um so we are not blowing off the world title feud. We're not blowing off the tag feud, right? Right. Okay. Uh, um, what se- what step for the Punk Danielson match? Uh, yes. Let's see what steps we have. Got street fight, pole, submission, steel. You know what? Was there no, no event, event effects. effects? Okay. Uh. Uh, submission, steel cage, last man standing. You said you maybe wanted to do that. Um, yeah, do it. Yeah, why not? Add gimmick match. What is it? Glory by honor? That's how you get honor and glory is with last man standing. Glory comes to the last man standing. Uh, yeah, that's in a video package. That's in that package yeah. right there at the beginning. <laughs> why did that not get booked? What? Jimmy Jacobs versus... Okada. There we go. And we're not blowing that off because it's new. No, yeah. Um, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, Slander competitor. Yes, good call. Um, who do we have? Rebecca Knox. Yeah. Eh, two charisma. Uh, Clearly, Okada's actually better. This is who we've got, so we're going to throw a producer focus on that. Okay. That's the only, yeah, we haven't booked anything else, so. Okay. Uh, New Japan is the one that's right above us, right? No. The right above us is, wait, is New Japan the one right above us? Have they fallen that far? Maybe it is Power Slam. Uh, let's just dig on Power Slam regardless. Yeah. Fuck him. Jimmy Jacobs is the one who slams wrestling pro revolution. That's his shtick. Yes, that is true. Uh, okay. Um, what else do we want to do? We got so much space, so much room for activities. Yeah. Do we want any other gimmick matches? Do we want to put Kevin Steen versus Samoa Joe in a cage or something? I don't know that it needs it. No DQ, something. It, it, no is also fun. Yeah, I don't think so. No DQ is a street fight, right? And those are, those don't go over that great. Yeah, no. Let's leave it. Okay. Um, the only other thing I could think is to do some kind of promo. Um, do we have any people with three charisma who aren't busy? Now there's a good question. Uh. Charisma. Doug? No. Well, but because he's over. It all counts. Uh, Doug and Jay. You know what? They're a tag team. I think. Factions, even. The Embassy. Um, we've got a face promo. Let's do a heel promo. Get the other producer on there. Sounds good to me. Um, 
uh, yeah, we'll need an emotional reset after that. Honestly, I'm fine to go short on the pay per view. The pay per view is about is about putting our best foot forward. We got all our blow offs in place. I believe so. Awesome. Let's roll. But watch me be wrong about that. It'd be very funny. Okay. Main event package. You know, it's not the best one in the world, but whatever. Uh, Sweet and Sour and Stevie are winning. Right? Oh, yeah. They're, yeah. They're, they haven't been titles. They haven't been the champs for that long. I will petition for Sweet and Sour and Stevie to become the championships. Okay. You have to wear them. Yeah. Probably like a backpack because they're kind of big. Yeah. Well, this is just the Briscoe saying, don't forget Dem Boys. Maybe they were doing commentary. Maybe, yeah, sure. Uh, so Brody Lee is winning here, retaining. Because we don't want him to retain it to Nigel. Right. Yeah, that's right. That's the reason. Um, what an amazing feud. Hot match. Uh, new title reveal championship segment unlocked. I don't see us doing that anytime soon. Holy shit, Brody Lee. Uh, Rebecca Knox is making fun of the competitors. It wasn't good. And that's a two star for you. Happens sometimes. Yep, it sure fucking all right uh i forget who's going over here um well i'm gonna be honest if it's a complete toss-up dragon you got it buddy he picked the stip and it worked in his favor he wanted that guitar versus shovel match and it was a good match uh so okada's been winning so it's probably time for Jimmy, right? Yep. Cool. Hot match. Absolutely the right call. Uh, Steen gets over Joe. Looking amazing. Thank you, Steen. Right? Yeah. Okay. How dare you desecrate Owen Hart's grave. It's a hot match. Uh, the embassy are here because, wow, that was a lot of emotion. Oh, it was bad. Cool. Glad. Thanks. It's fine. It's not bad. I'm, I'm used to better quality matches. If this were... You know, remember when we first started doing this shit? Holy cow. Uh, Colt Cabana is retaining. Is that correct? That was the plan. Okay. He might drop it by the end of this, but we've been doing a lot of those feuds where they lose them halfway lately. Colt Cabana still on top, barely. The crowd didn't care, but we we did this. We did that. They don't care. I, I showed you my package. Please respond. Four and a half star Tony show. Tony no longer over. Oh, who could have possibly cared? Uh... Look at all that. Look at all that goodness. Look at all that goodness. All reassured. Okada's on the way to becoming face of company. Last Man Standing was a good choice. Uh, oh, wow. They found it in bad taste and tuned out because of the slander. Yeah. It, it, look, it's, it's the first time that's ever not gone well. We have lost two rep. It is the first time that has ever not gone well. You put on nine five-star matches and lose two rep. Hey, but we're ahead of the other two guys for pay-per-view buys. I don't know how that translates. We beat Power Slam and New Japan. Yeah, yeah, that's good. We don't have a lot of TV viewers, but they all buy pay-per-views. Uh, Dick Blood's in the WWE. Good for Dick Blood. WWE, 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 Shawn Michaels, Victory Road, Christopher Daniels, Victory Road, Michael Elgin. Okay, whatever. Uh, last Struggle, Super Crazy's hot, Jimmy Havoc got injured. And nothing. Nothing about us. It melts. Ah, uh, the Wrestling Spectator Awards. Well, this one's going to be long, too, folks. Um, we, we, might, we might have to pick this up at the beginning of the next episode. Can we? Through science. Okay. 